Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new video. So in today's video I'm going to be putting together some autumnal floral arrangements in like different vases, some big ones, some small ones, some medium ones, a good variety of floral arrangements and, and I'm only going to be using faux flower stems and faux foliage stems and I'm really excited to create this video today. It's been a requested one for a while actually, I'm always getting messages saying please do a faux flower tutorial or please tell us your tips and tricks on how you create a floral display. So I thought that I would merge like autumnal decor, like awesome vibes that we're having at the minute mixed with faux flower, faux foliage arranging and just create this video for you all. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stand behind this table and get all my vases out, get all my flowers and like foliage out. I'm going to get like a protective thing for the top of the table as well so that I don't scuff it and just create some autumnal displays with you all. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. Make sure you watch till the end so that you get all the tips and tricks that I can give you. I'm no expert by the way, I'm not like a florist or anything like that. It's just a hobby that I like to do and yeah, I just enjoy doing it. So I'm no expert, but yeah. <laughs> and also don't forget to like, comment and subscribe as it really does help my channel out. Okay, so I've got my little setup. I've got all the vases that I'm going to be styling up today. I've got big ones, small ones, medium ones, so a good variety there. And I've also got my huge autumn flowers and foliage box, which is literally spilling out of the top. It's absolutely crazy. I've got so many autumn like faux flowers and I've also got my box, uh, let me just get it, I've also got my box of just like natural foliage like twigs and like eucalyptus and things just in case I want to add any of those to any of the displays as well. So I'm all stocked up and ready to start arranging. <laughs> okay so firstly I'm going to start with smaller vases and like little pots and things that you might have and I honestly think these can look so effective if you've got a little space that just needs a little bit of foliage or flowers but it's too small of a space to fill with like a bigger vase like this if that makes sense. I honestly think that little vases and little like jugs and things with just a small amount of foliage coming out can look really pretty and effective. So for example some of you will recognise these, these are like the small Corinium vases and pots from Neptune and I've literally just got like the tiniest little bit of foliage. I think this one was from Dunelm actually, it came in like a pack of other colours as well but I just snipped it with some scissors and I just have it just resting at the top. I don't even push it all the way down, it's literally just resting out and you've just got a cute little autumnal display. So I've got this next to my flower and oats in my kitchen and it just adds a little bit of extra something like suited to the season. When it's Christmas I might pop like a Christmas stem in there. If it's spring summer I might pop like a little white flower in there. Like you can just change it up depending on what season it is. Same thing with the one on my shelf as well. I've just got a little sprig of berries just poking out the top there like and I just angle it to the side a little bit like that so it just kind of looks like it's just hanging nice and natural and rustic looking. So again really effective and literally takes takes what less than 20 seconds to do as well <laughs> and same again like this jug isn't a jug that can hold a really big display so one flower will do or one little bit of foliage so what I've had on my windowsill this gorgeous hydrangea from Dunham I got it last year it's in this gorgeous like amber brown shade it's so nice and I've snipped it so like I measured how far I wanted it because I think it came to like there and obviously that just looks so silly as well so you need to measure it to see whereabouts you want it to hang and I just wanted it hanging just out of the top of the jug like this and I just think it looks really really sweet so I've just got that on my windowsill just one flower and I don't think it looks too simple or anything it just looks just right. So there are my little tips for smaller vases the main thing is don't go OTT with smaller vases you don't want it to look silly like for example if I got you know, this gorgeous faux foliage stem and plant it in there like it just doesn't work. So it's all about like measuring and like bending the stems and seeing what looks best. And I mean, even that probably doesn't look the best. So it's picking like the right sort of foliage and the right sort of flower as well. And it's not going to look right first time, but you just have to, you know, trial and error and see what you're happy with at the end of the day. <laughs> Next, I've got this gorgeous vase from a shop called The Little Shop of Interiors, which is such a gorgeous small business. And this is called The Florence Vase, and it's absolutely beautiful. I love it so much. I've just gone to check on the website as well. It's literally only £20, which is brilliant. A little bit bigger than those like bud vases and the Neptune Corinium vases that I showed you before, but obviously not as big as some of the bigger arrangements that you can make but I really really like this size 
and yeah I'll show you how I would style this sweater up. I'm thinking for this one again thinking about the measurements it can't be a super tall display because the height of the bars isn't that tall so it needs to be kind of like matching to this size so like the flowers need to come to about there ish if that makes sense so I'm thinking more of like a natural foliage kind of look for this one. I don't think that it will need much at all to make it look full so again you don't need to go OTT with your arrangements it's just whatever suits the bars. So I'll just stand to the side a little bit so you can see the actual arrangement because it kind of blends in with what I'm wearing but I just love this gorgeous bars, the Florence bars from a little shop of interiors and all I've popped in is just two like burgundy, dark burgundy eucalyptus stems. I can't remember where they're from, they're from a gorgeous small business and I can't remember which one they're from. I'll try and remember and link them down below and maybe they'll still be on the website but they're absolutely beautiful, the colour is so perfect. I also have a discount code for you to use on a little shop of interiors as well so you can get this gorgeous vase for like less than 20 quid which is amazing. I think it's going to be florally 10 for 10% off everything site wide. Okay next I'm going to take this Neptune vase. I love this Neptune vase so much and I'm so glad that I got it before all the price increases because I'm pretty sure this is like such a fortune now but I got it when it was much much cheaper. It's such a gorgeous vase so like lovely and neutral and goes with any display ever. And inside I'm going to pop a gorgeous bouquet that I've recently been sent from Olive and Wood Interiors. It's absolutely stunning. I'll show you it in a second. It's like foliage and like green vibes, but it also has a hint of burgundy as well. So it's so perfect for autumn. So here is the bouquet. As you can see, there's lots of green and like natural foliage. There's a little bit of eucalyptus with like a burgundy like edging, which is really nice. And it ties in really nicely to this. I think it's a thistle, like a burgundy thistle. So like very autumnal. And also this could like lend itself into like the Christmas month as well so I'm going to show you how I get it from looking lovely in like a bouquet like this to looking right in the vase as well. So I'm going to start with this eucalyptus with like the burgundy edging and I'm going to spread it out. I'm going to spread all the stems out so that you've got a bit of eucalyptus going out in every area. So I'll just pop that there and you've got to trust the process like this just looks silly at the minute but you have to trust the process and when you start adding more and more it will look better. I'm also trying to do this so that it looks nice from the front rather than the back which is a little bit tricky because I've never done it like that before but for the sake of filming I feel like I have to show the, the, the front bit like the nice bit to you so we'll see how it goes. Again you've got to bend the stem so I bent mine like this but if I didn't then it would be just like way too tall and like just look like it's hanging out in the wrong place so I bend it so that when it falls to the bottom it's hanging in the right place. You don't want it too symmetrical but you also don't want like one side looking more fuller than the other so I do try and like have it kind of symmetrical but still wild and wonderful at the same time. So as you can see it's starting to take shape I'm just adding all of the foliage. It's mainly foliage this display but then you've got the flower thistle which I'll add in a minute. I pop this eucalyptus at the back, put it out a little bit. Then what I do is like once I've put it down, I kind of like twist them to the front as well so that you can see it from all angles. Again, with this thistle, which is like the main thing for this display, it had a really long stem. So again, you just have to bend it depending on like the size of your bars. And then I'm just gonna plunk that in the middle, I think. I'm just gonna twist it round just so I can pack with it a little bit. So for example just then I wasn't happy with the position that I placed the thistle in so I take it out and put it back in again like it takes a long time to perfect it especially if you're a Virgo like me and like perfectionism is the goal so it might take me like 10 minutes to like faff around with the bouquet just to make sure it looks right at all angles and yeah you just have to trust the process. And then when you get to that point where you're kind of happy with how it looks, I just literally go like this and just like kind of push the flowers and just like kind of just like, I don't know what this is, just like mess around with it and make it look a bit more messy and a bit more natural um, so that it looks more realistic, I guess. Even though it's faux flowers, it can still look like a realistic bouquet, especially this one, like the colours of this one are so gorgeous. Oh yeah, I think I'm happy with that now. So... 
yeah, you just need to faff around with it. And another thing that I always get asked is how you make, how do I make it look really full? And a good tip for that is like pushing the bottom bits of the bouquet, so like the ones near the top of the bars, pushing them down like this so that it looks like it's coming out from here, here and here. And it just creates a more fuller Okay, so yeah, I absolutely love this gorgeous natural foliage with a little flower in there from Olive and Wood Interiors. It's so perfect and I think that it's up for £35, which is so amazing to get all these stems. I think it's like over £50 worth of stems is actually in this bouquet, so for £35 and with my discount code, which is florally10, I think it brings it down to like £31 or something, which is such a steal for like a gorgeous full. I'd call this like a big bouquet. I think that is such a good price, so I will leave a link to it in the description box below so you can go straight to it and you've got yourself a gorgeous autumnal bouquet and I think that it lends itself to Christmas and winter as well with these colours and like this burgundy colour, so you've got a gorgeous bouquet for like the next six months basically. Okay, next I'm going to take this gorgeous brown vase which is from White Barn Home. I think it's called the Roman Pot in size large and it's stunning like I've got this on my landing currently I've just taken the bouquet out to like remake it for this video and it just looks so pretty against the neutrals perfect for autumn although I did have this out in summer and spring as well but I mean this colour is just perfect for autumn isn't it so I'm going to go for a floral and foliage display in here so firstly I'm going to take these gorgeous peonies from With Love Abigail and they are so stunning and I think they come as a pack of three on her website and also in different colours as well. I love how full just one of the stems are, so like all together it does look really really full. So on one stem you get a gorgeous like large peony that's all opened out and then you also get a smaller peony that's just starting to like bloom. You get these gorgeous colour leaves as well which are very suited to autumn and it's kind of like, um, like a brownie green on the back and a darker green on the front so it looks really gorgeous both angles and then the actual stem itself is like a dark brown colour so it looks really natural and realistic so I'm going to pop three of those in here. I don't need to bend these stems because they are pretty much the perfect height for what I want for this vase and again you can like spread them out so that you know you get flowers at different angles and I always think that three flower stems is quite a nice amount for a vase of this size because you've got your symmetry but you can still make it look still nice and natural and realistic. So they're my three flower stems that I'm going to have and I'm going to mix them with these brown leafy stems and I think these are from Habitual Home. They're absolutely beautiful, they're so perfect for the autumn months. So I don't think I need to bend these either actually. And I'm just going to like slot them in between the flowers and the colours just like blend together so nice, it literally looks like it was meant to be an actual bouquet. Again, I'm just going to twist it round so I can see the front to make sure I'm happy with it. So yeah, just just take a little bit of a faff to make it look looking perfect, but yeah, I'm really happy with how that looks. From the back it looks like quite bare, but this is going to be against a wall so people are only going to see the front of it so that doesn't matter too much to me. Obviously if it was like on an island or something you'd need more stems to fill out all of it because it's kind of like a 360 kind of view but if it's just going on like a table like a console table against the wall then you just focus on what it looks like from the front and I feel like these flowers and the stems go together really really nicely and I love how it looks with the brown pot as well so yeah I'm really really happy with this one. Next I'm going to take this stunning vase from Oliver Wood Interiors it's so pretty it's like a crackle effect which I really like like neutral crackles it's rustic around the rim of the vase and also like at the bottom here it's just so pretty and I really love the shape of it as well so with a vase like this with a skinnier like opening at the top you kind of need to go a little bit bigger and a little bit more fuller for your bouquet, I can't get my words out. In saying that, I've just popped in these hydrangeas from Wibbler Abigail, and I feel like that actually looks quite nice, actually, just two of them on their own. But I really do like the look with a vase like this, when it's just like a little bit more out. I think it just suits this style of vase a little bit better. So I'm gonna go for a big display for this one. I think I'm gonna go for like a burgundy look for this one, like a chocolatey burgundy kind of vibe. So these stems are literally some of my favourite autumnal stems ever. These ones were from Olive and Wood in Teams as well, but last year, so I'm not sure if they're still on the website, 
anymore. I'll check, but I'm, I don't know if they've gone. But you can get like similar flowers like this anyway. I'm gonna start the bouquet off. I just check that I don't need to bend them and it looks like I don't think I need to bend them for this vase. So I'm just gonna start by taking these gorgeous chocolate stems and just like dotting them about basically, making sure that you've got some in lots of different angles. The colours of these stems are so pretty. And again, like I was saying before, to get that full, like fuller look, kind of like bend the stems going downwards like that so that they hang a little bit more downwards rather than like all stuck up like that. I feel like that looks more unrealistic than stems hanging down like that. You want it to look as natural as possible. I'm really happy with how that looks, but I feel like I just want to add a little bit of extra foliage. So I've got some like random bits of foliage that I've like trimmed off other like bigger stems. I think they're both from Dunelm actually. I think these ones are from Dunelm and I think these ones are from Dunelm as well. So we'll stick those in. What I do is just like stick them down the bottom. I don't push them all the way in because like the other, the other stems will just hold them into place. So I just stick it just a little bit in and then like just fluff it out. And then same again at another side. Sticking low down as well, like I'm not gonna stick that in there because it just like doesn't really add anything. When I'm adding like little bits of sprigs to like bulk out the bouquet, I always go in from like the bottom here so that it just bulks out and you can always like move it around afterwards. So I always stick it in the bottom. <laughs> Okay, so after a lot of faffing, I think I am happy with this finished result, but no doubt when I put it back on the console table, I'll be faffing with everything again. But I just really love how this looks. I love how you've got the chocolate, like coloured stems, but you've also got a little bit of greenery as well. So it's not like completely dark colours. I like how you've got a little bit of like yellowy green leaves to it as well. I think that the burgundy eucalyptus just like bulks it out a little bit and just makes it look more of like a realistic natural bouquet with leaves and flowers. And I think all the colors just go together really nicely and just look super cozy and autumnal. And this is a display that I've actually got in my hallway at the minute. So it's a lovely big display that everyone sees when they first walk in and I love it. Again, like I said before, my discount code will still work on this vase and these stems if they're still on the Olive and Wood Interiors website and my code is florally10 for 10% off. Okay, so next I'm going to take this one and this is my Haybrook round vase from Neptune and I don't know if anyone else finds this who has this vase but I always find this vase really difficult to arrange a bouquet in and I get there in the end like it looks nice in the end but I feel like the process is much harder I feel like because it's not as tall as some of the other vases but it's still quite wide so I just find it a little bit trickier to put together floral arrangements but they still look nice in the end so it's just like the process that's a little bit trickier so in this one I'm thinking I want lots of colour as like the vase itself is quite neutral I'm thinking maybe leaves, berries, bits of eucalyptus so I'll just start putting things in and see how things look. So I think I'm gonna go for these gorgeous stems from With Love Abigail. How realistic do they look? I said this last year as well, like it literally looks like leaves from the garden. Like it looks so realistic. So I really love those and the colors are just stunning. And it's also good because it's got the yellow, the green and the red, you can mix other colors with them as well and they'll match because you've literally got all the colours there to choose from. And then I think I'm going to take some of this eucalyptus as well. This is from Dunelm and how perfectly does it match these leaf stems? It's got the reds, the greens and the like golds in as well. So I'm going to pop a bit of that in as well just to bulk out the foliage side of things. I've got loads of this from Dunelm. I went a bit mad last year and got so much of this colourful eucalyptus. I am happy with that. I feel like it's got some good height. But you also don't want it to look too structured, like you don't just want like bump, bump, bump as your tall stems. You kind of want it to like blend together a little bit. So that's why you've got to like faff about and like bend them in different ways to make it look, you know, the most natural it can do. I also think I'm going to add some berries to this as well. I've got these gorgeous berries and they're literally like the most bendable things ever. They're so easy to work with. If I just pop them in. And then because the actual sprig itself is so bendable, I'm just gonna like bend them in different ways so that it looks like I've got berries like everywhere and not just in the areas where I put the two sprigs, just to create a lovely like natural 
effect. I'm really happy with how that looks. I feel like it looks so autumnal and cozy. The colours are just perfect. It looks really wild and crazy. I love it. I love how it looks like there's berries everywhere, and, like different coloured eucalyptus everywhere, and these like autumnal stems. These are from With Love Abigail, so you can get for only 10 for 10% off these if they're still on the website. But if not, she does have like tons of autumnal flowers. Like she's literally the faux flower queen. She's got tons on her website, so there'll definitely be something similar that you can find. But yeah, I just love this. I think it's so suited for autumn. Gorgeous colours. I love the autumnal colours and I feel like it just looks really nice with neutrals as well. Like even though you're going a little bit more colourful on top, it matches nicely with the neutrals. You've got the neutral berries as well to tone it down. And I think I'm going to pop this on my kitchen worktop just in the corner so that whenever anyone walks in the kitchen they'll see this on the kitchen side and yeah, I just love it. So for my next display I'm going to use this gorgeous vase from With Love Abigail and it's called the Clementine Vase. I think it could still be on the website, I'm not sure, I'll leave it linked down below so you can go and have a look. But it's one of my favourite vases ever, it's such a big size, like it's a really statement vase. This stone effect on the outside just goes with all interiors really nicely. It's really gorgeous and rustic, it's a gorgeous shape, yeah, I just love it. So I'm thinking really big display for this one. So I'm going to go for these new stems that I showed in my home haul a couple of videos ago from Holy Barn Interiors. And like I said on that video, I'll say it again now, look how full just one stem is. It might have been bent too much. So, so I'm going to trial and error and see like how far I need to bend the stems so that they look nice hanging out. Yeah, I feel like that is a good height. So just bent about that much. So I'll do the same for the other ones as well. See, like I've just added just three stems and I feel like it looks super full already. So now I feel like I want some flowers as well. I need to decide what sort of flowers to go for. So I think I'm gonna pop a few of these stems in I got from Amazon last year. I saw one of my friends on Instagram, AB Home, one of my friends, Arthur, share them to her grid page last year and they were honestly stunning and really, really affordable as well. So I had to get some and I feel like they match these stems from Holy Barn Interiors really nicely as well. So I'm going to pop a few of those around. I feel like it's still needing something, so I'll have another root through. Suddenly some, oops, eucalyptus. Can't go wrong with shoving a bit of eucalyptus in there. I've also got this autumnal stem from Neptune as well, which I got last year and I feel like this will go nicely with all the colours in here as well and adds a little pop of green too, which is really sweet. I love how you can bend these Homely Barn interior stems. Like I said with those berry stems, these stems from Homely Barn interiors are really bendable as well, so you can just like bend them any way you like. So it looks like you've got more of them. It's a really good hack. I feel like I just need a little bit more of that burgundy eucalyptus and then it will be complete. Okay, I'm really, really happy with how this looks. I just had a little turn around and a little faff to make sure all the stems were in the right place. But yeah, I love it. Like I said, it's a really big vase. So I wanted a really big statement display and I just think it looks so gorgeous. I feel like it looks really realistic as well. Like with the mix of like these long stems from Holy Barn Interiors and then you've got like the round leafy eucalyptus stems from I think Dunelm. You've got your Amazon stems in there, a little Neptune flower. And I think that's it actually. So literally not that many stems at all, but look how full and big this bouquet looks. Hopefully I'll be able to find all the links still so you can recreate it because this is just so gorgeous. And I think I'm gonna have it in my living room as like a big statement display on my coffee table. But yeah, I think it looks really, really good. Nice and natural. Reminds me of like, you know, the rustic effect that Lydia Millen goes for in her home, like with her like flower displays and stuff. So yeah, I love it. I'm just gonna keep that one there whilst I do a little display for this gorgeous jug. This jug is from Harrison Crapper Interiors. It's the Elena jug. And it's one of my favorite little like jug slash vases ever. It's nice to have like on a windowsill when you can't pop something like this on obviously because it's too big, but you still want something a little bit more statement for the middle of your windowsill. Something like this size is perfect for that. I just want to talk about when you've got a vase size like this, like a vase or a jug, 
you've got the beauty of going more simple or bigger. So for example, this is one way that I like to style vases and drugs of this size with just a little bit of foliage. For example, I've got berries here for autumn. Just like not directly up like that, but just hanging to the side of where like the jug is facing, like handle on one side, foliage leaning to the other side. And I feel like that just looks like really simple, but quite effective and just really pretty to have like on a windowsill somewhere or on a coffee table. So you don't have to go like really, really big because simple is sometimes more prettier and more effective. So yeah, that's one way I like to style jugs, but of course you can go for like a fuller display as well. So I'm just gonna have a little look in here and see what I can come up with. So this literally took no time at all to set up because you've literally just got everything on the stem. I think these are the huckleberry stems from Dunelm and they're really good because you've got like the solid stem there at the bottom but then you can bend all of these little stems out and all I've got in is two of those and then a little bit of berry foliage as well and I feel like that is just really really pretty for a small jug vase of this size. I feel like it just adds a little bit of extra something. The foliage height is similar to the height of the vase as well, so it's not out of proportion. So I'm gonna stop there, everyone. I really hope you enjoyed watching me make those autumn displays, big and small. I've got tons of autumn flowers and foliage still left, and I haven't even, I didn't even like open the natural, like normal foliage box, so, if you want a part two, let me know and I can maybe think about filming some different displays using different vases so that I'm not using like the same vase and it just be like a repeat of this video. But I can definitely think about filming a part two if people want to see that. I'd love to know what you think in the comments down below. Let me know which ones you are loving the most. Let me know if you're going to recreate any of them. And if you do decide to recreate any of them, please do tag me on Insta or send me a DM because I'd love to see your beautiful creations. Thank you so much for watching everyone and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to help my channel out because it really does help my channel out and just give it a little push. So don't forget to do those things if you like this video and I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye!